Hey everybody! We're back with another Capsule Chick unboxing. And, you know, here's Blaze just, you know, right in the way. Because, you know, that's what Blaze likes to do. Uh, this is a, a teal box this time. And it looks like this is the, um, the alt, um, the Control Alt Magic collection. I think this is, like, more of, like, a, a fantasy type robot models. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see if it says anything different on, I know the box art's a little bit different. You're, you're looking at one of the Control Alt Delete, uh, box art here for one of the girls. This is which look will you get. Um, so yeah, let me just see, let's just see if there's anything different on this. Um, so we have some more box art here. It says, will you find the limited edition doll inside? So it looks like the limited edition doll is a mermaid. Big surprise. Um, this one looks really cool. And then here's a picture of one of the dolls. Built to be posable. There's 14 points of articulation. Uh, we have opened up one already on this channel. Um... I will post a link to that on the bottom if you wanted to check that one out. Here's some more box art. That girl's really pretty as well. Um, on the back here it says that you can get Ramrock Collection, Sweet Circuits Collection, and the Gigaglam Collection. So, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, it says exactly the same thing on the back of this box as it says on the other one. Just the different characters, so you can pause that if you want to read it. Okay, so we pull this off. This is a throw away part. And then we pull this down, and then we get cranking. Oh, wait, wait, before we crank, let's check out this book here. I think that I'm imagining that every collection has its own book. So let's look through this. We have um, Future Fashion. Uh, let's style surprise you with capsule chicks, the, the head turning cyber stylers who always. Look unique and chic. Enter the future of fashion where every capsule delivers a fresh new addition to your wardrobe. Okay, so this stuff is all, we've already read this on the box um, in our last video. Uh, Control Out Magic Collection. Uh, flip through this magazine and tick off your fashion pieces from the collection. So there really is, um, I was saying in the last video, there really is no name for any of your dolls or any of your girls, so it's kind of weird. It's it's kind of a weird, different, bizarre thing here. And I think uh, you don't know really what kind of mis mix match you get. So y you can get any of these faces, it looks like. Two, four, six, eight. So there's eight different faces you can get in this uh, collection. Uh, I don't know if they're... I think they are. I think each face is... Um, all eight of these faces are exclusive to this collection, so the um, alt uh, control alt magic is going to be the only place you're going to find these fat these faces. But you can take the faces off these ones and put them in any other collection as well. So, um, yeah. Let's see, here's some other pieces that you could find. And make a splash. And then here's um, a remix styles you can do here. The style remix, match, mix and match. Um, build to be posable. And then here's gets the look over here. I really like the unicorn one, but I would prefer, I like this one. It kind of looks like a Statue of Liberty or something. This one's really cool, too. I think I'll be happy with whoever I get. There's some really cool hairstyles in here, guys. Um, ooh, I like her. I want that girl. And then, ooh, there's wings. Find me in the Ramrock collection. Hmm. Why would... Find me... Okay, so they're actually putting a couple of little bits and pieces mixed in here. Because you can mix and match all the different collections. Meet the Chick. All about the sparkle. Metallics and glitter in every color. It's all about being... Wait, it's all about being overdressed for, for any occasion. 
So that was Giga Glam, it was all sparkle. And then the sweet circus. Okay, so they do they do go in the advertise for the rest of them. And then we do have we can make a doll stand from our capsule bottoms. So after we spent five minutes talking about things we already talked about in the last one. I'm just really excited about these. I am a doll collector. In case you guys didn't even know. I mean, I, I collect other toys, but um, I'm mostly a doll collector. And I was right. Okay. So our last girl that we opened was from the Giga Glam. Was it? Um, the Giga Glam? Yes. Um, and she had a purple bottom. And this one's got a blue bottom. Blue stand. So that's how we're going to know where each girl comes from is by the color of their stand, which is pretty cool. In case you get confused about any of it. And my tear strip didn't love me in this one. Oh, there we go. I was getting too excited about it. So, let me... Now, these are really hard to open. These are really, 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 really sturdy. They're not like regular capsules that you can just kind of bust open. They're actually pretty hard to open. Okay, so these ones have pink bags as well. There goes that top. Um, these ones have pink bags as well. Uh, like the other one we opened. So I guess the bags are all going to be pink that sit in, say, capsule chicks on them. So this is the first capsule we got here. Now, if it's going to follow the rest of them, we're going to get our arms, our arm top here. Oh, okay. So here we go. Here is our, our torso piece. And she's actually giving a peace sign on both ends. Okay, so she's pretty hippie-ish. Um, we have armbands that look like ruffled arms. And she has a sleeveless top. It's all like a really, really pale pink with a light pink accents for the bows and ruffles. And she, of course, has that signature little like capsule dial in... Metallic silver on the back. So we know these girls are robots. Or like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cyborg, cyborgs. Cyborgs, which are... Robots made from humans? Or humans made from robots? You know. You know, guys. You know. Okay. Tear strips. The tear strips work pretty good on these. I'm pretty excited. It's because it's more of a thinner plastic. Let's see if I can pop this open. It's so hard. Okay. Couldn't do it on camera. So there is the um, stand part. So that's going to go over here inside with that. And then. What else do we have in here? head. Okay. Which head do we have? Um, I don't know, but it has like a gray eye shadow and I guess the eyes are kind of gray and white. And then it's weird. She has eyebrows, but the eyebrows go into a fade. They like fade away in the center. Is that supposed to be like that? So I don't know who we have here. It looks like we could have the one in the center, but she has blue eyes. This one has gray. And she doesn't have a beauty mark like this one. So I don't think it's her. Her lips don't seem to be the pose of that one, so it can't be her. So she has gray eyes. If you look really close, her eyeshadow could be that one. But it's... I, I don't know. She's supposed to be her, which... Uh, Maybe her eyes are supposed to be faded like that. Um, it shows on here that she has like some sort of like pink freckles all over the bottom of her. I guess if I look really, really close to her, I can see them maybe. But they're really faint, and I don't know if that's a defect or not. I don't know. I'm going to stop focusing on her. <laughs> her head. And, uh, oh, in, uh, in case you didn't see in the last video, that's how they look in the back. So, uh, let's go on to our next capsule.
Oh, she has some really cool yellow shoes. So, these are yellow sandals. They're quite similar. No, they're not similar. They're just sandals that have... Um, and they're yellow. And they have something going on in the middle here, but I can't quite figure out what it is. It's not... Uh, it's not... Maybe it's supposed to be like a snake or something? I don't know. Or maybe it's supposed to just be a gemstone that's not colored. Just a gemstone, maybe. Just some sort of look. Kind of like these sandals. They're pretty cute. What else have we got in here? Got to be careful because there might be a small accessory in there. Yep, there is. Uh, I think it's a watch. But I'm not sure. It looks like a watch. A uh, teal one. And here, ooh, look at this purse, guys. So this purse is a metallic gold with... Um, teal, metallic teal, and you can see that um, it's got crisscrosses and then that bold line down the middle, so it's pretty cute. It's not an openable purse. It's not functional. That's okay um, for a doll this size. You're not expecting that. And this bag is another one of those bags that's not the same. It's not shiny like this bag. It's completely different plastic. It's weird to me. It's almost like this part of the of the product was made somewhere different. Guys, guys, I think we have fabric. So excited. All right, here is her legs. And um, she has, I guess, um, either a leotard bottom that's purple or maybe that's her underwear. Not sure. But what is this? fabric Ooh, guys Ooh, all right pretty excited about this um i'm gonna leave it in this bag though until we get the uh, last capsule out here because we're looking for the hair so the fabric i think is considered ultra rare so that's pretty cool for us today i don't think there's ultra rare faces oh um I'm getting carried away i gotta get that tear strip off first before i start popping the capsule Okay, I admit it. This is fun. <laughs> is it $15 worth of fun? Nah. It's to be seen. I really like the last girl we got. Okay. This is another one in a different bag. So let's see what we got in this one. Oh my goodness. Guys, look at this hair. Oh, it's, it's supposed to be like a ton of braids, I guess. And we have um, pastel pink, pastel blue, white, pastel green, a little bit of pink in there. Oh my goodness, a little bit of yellow. And then we have a couple of silver streaks. What does the front of it look like? Oh man, I can't wait till we... Wait, uh, was there another piece? I don't know if there was another piece, but it looks like there might have been another piece because there's a hole there. But I bet you there's a hole in the top of this because... You can put other pieces on it if it comes with another piece, but let's just... Yes, there was another piece. It's... Oh, man. It's hard plastic, and it's... And it's, and it's painted metallic... Uh, pink? Red? I don't really know. I, I'm, I, 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 this breaks my brain. I can't wait to get her together. OMG, guys. Here she is. So here's the girl and all the and all the pieces that we got today. I'm very excited that we were able to get a fabric skirt, so we can we could check that out together and see what it felt like, see what it looked like. Um, it's tool, and it has moons and stars, all sparkly on it. It needs to be a little bit. The the moons and stars are a little bit stuck together. I'm gonna kind of pull it out and kind of so that you can get it to be that frilly. So it's yeah, it's on tool. It's got um, shimmery sparkles all over it, and you can see this. It's got the uh, crescent moons and the stars, and then uh, it matches the purse and the shoes. I don't really think. It, I mean, I feel like this part down here could probably go with something else, and I don't really know. I'm not really getting how this matches, but I think she looks pretty awesome. I really, really happy with this girl. 
Um, I'll just kind of spin her around here for you guys. And of course, um, she's got the um, 14 points of articulation. Uh, her head moves back and forth and up and down. Uh, she her um, her shoulder joints go up and down and around. She's got elbow joints on both sides. She does have wrist joints. Um, this particular um, hand is the peace sign on both sides, so that's pretty cool. And then um, her her she she swivels at the waist, back and forth and, and up and down. Uh, she has two uh, hip joints, so you can make her sit or stand. She does have knee joints, and she also does have ankle joints. So you can do pretty much any posability with these girls that you could with um, a, you know, a 12 to 14 inch doll, which is very impressive. So, um, yeah. So it's weird because she's about 15-ish. Like, I, th I think they're about $15.99 or $14.99 at Target. And uh, they come with 15 plus pieces inside, so you're basically paying a dollar a piece to put her together. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they're worth it. I was a skeptic for a little while. In fact, I saw them on, um, I saw them online a few times, and, you know, I kept looking at them, and I go, the concept is cool, but I'm not sure if I really like them, because I had to see them in person before I judged. And, of course, they're most toys, so they're amazing, and I want more. So... So, I'm sorry if I'm being uh, monotonous by opening up the same thing over and over again, but I'm probably going to do another review for you guys tomorrow uh, for a different collection. But um, if you liked this video, go ahead, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!